Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth! Seems like a lot of you Smartbuster fanboys or former Smartbuster fans who still try to copy their personalities just want to be wannabe tough guys on the internet. I say that because when you look at all the Smartbuster fanboys who end up copying this trend of talking tough on the internet to try to prove that they're just like the Smartbusters when they're really not because they don't have the same charisma, they don't have the same energy or same quality videos. Not to mention sounding like a bunch of nerds. Like I know listening to me you're going to think that as well, but here's the difference. I'm doing something different than the Smartbusters. I'm not actually trying to copy them or be just like them when it comes to wrestling opinions and things of that nature. And it's really funny when you think about it. These are the same people who would make fun of the wrestling otaku and talk about how he's a fat nerd and how he's weird and while that's true they also are the same people when you really think about it a lot of these people don't have likes outside of facebook youtube they don't have girlfriends they don't have friends who aren't weirdos just like them and quite frankly they're social outcasts who look for heroes to worship which is why they clung on to people like the smart busters and that's no offense to the smart busters i am too a fan but it's also to say that these people will look to anybody who speaks something that they want to say or speaks like them and they'll see them as heroes. So what do the Smartbuster fanboys and Will Smith's slap have in common? The majority of those fanboys are taking the side of Will Smith and then they're saying that Chris Rock deserved to be slapped, which is very stupid. No man deserves to be slapped for doing their job. It was Chris Rock's job to tell jokes at the Oscars. He's a comedian. That's what he gets paid for. Basically, if you condone slapping Chris Rock for telling jokes, I should be able to slap you for saying something disrespectful to me or disrespectful about someone who was close to me. And I bet you would disagree with that. Now, I'm not going to restate my opinion on the matter because basically you're seeing this video and you're seeing the photos that I screenshotted, which detail my opinion on the matter and it details what some of the smart buster fanboys were saying themselves i'm also not going to call any specific fanboy out i know i have one in the pictures but i'm not going to call him out because i don't want to give him any more attention and i'm also not going to call out any other specific people who i've seen do this but all i'm going to say is you guys need to go outside you really do you need to get a life you need to do something else than just watch people on the internet. Also, you guys need to mature. Like, some of you guys are in high school, yeah, but also some of you guys are full-on adults or people in college and things of that nature. And you're talking tough on the internet, acting like you can beat people up, acting like you're going to be Will Smith and slap some people when everybody knows you would be the one being slapped or you would be the one not even trying to attack anybody or defend you're a woman like you claim Will Smith was doing if he wasn't. I'm going to give you some advice as well. Learn what you do individually that works. There are a lot of people in the wrestling community or internet wrestling community as they call it who have the individual personalities, who are actually talented and have their own styles that are different from the Smart Busters. Some good, some bad, but there are a lot of individual people who aren't just nut riding each other. Try to be like them. Try to be somewhat different also try to have a life outside of the wrestling community but try to be different as well to give a shout out to all the people who i know who are smart buster fans along with me who are their own individual personalities and don't just copy what other people say people like mr mccoy sean walker double z wrestling snowman gooby bonesaw general jerry trap queen sean savoy jacko knight dom tess r.i.p matthew hawk I think I messed his name up, but meth enthusiasts, people like that. I'm probably forgetting a whole bunch more people, but a lot of those people, if you notice, I said they had their own individual personalities. I can't compare Bonesaw to Dom Test, for example. They're not the same people. They have their own different humor, own different personalities, talk about different things, own different opinions on things. So be like them. In the sense of being their own individual person. Don't copy them. Like literally don't do that. That's what I'm talking about right now. But be your own person. And I'm sorry if I forgot anybody else who's their own individual personality and not the same. You don't see none of them talking like 19th century Englishmen. Like the one commenter said. 
do we understand? Do we have an understanding? No, they don't talk like that in real life. You don't see them talking about SJWs while behaving like an SJW. You don't see them just using internet political terms in real life. Funny enough, a good amount of them have taken breaks off social media or they've gone on to do their own thing. Oh yeah, Jack Bartholomew. Sorry, I forgot about you. So to Mr. LR, as I'll call him, don't expect a response if you make a video towards me. Don't expect any sort of internet beef. I'm not going to do that because I don't have the time to do that and it would be a waste to argue with somebody who's not going to listen and it's not going to have a decent response to it. Plus, this video is more towards all of the Smartbuster fanboys, all of the ones who don't have their own individual like personalities, the ones who try to be like righty. It's like, what about lefty? None of you try to be like lefty, but I digress. A lot of you try to be like righty, and it's not even funny because there's only one righty. There's not going to be anybody who's going to be like him because he's his own man. If you know me, this also isn't my first time calling out these type of people because I was one of the people who was trying to tell Reddy don't hang out with Buck because he's a loser and he's just one of these tryhards who doesn't know what he's talking about and it's just going to bring him down. I'm not going to say Reddy took my advice, for example, because he probably was already thinking about not being friends with him, but stuff like that and other people who he's cut off or a lot of other fanboys that he's tried to not associate with, I've also at least attempted to go after. So this also isn't my first time just going after Smartbuster fanboys and going after people as he try to do the copy my favorite idols behavior type of thing. I'll just leave you with advice from Abba, from Abba and Preach, who I would tell you to subscribe to because he's really good and him preach. They both put out good content. What they're going to say is especially going to ring true to the person who I'm mainly responding to. But again, I'm encapsulating the whole community of the people. But it's going to ring true to the person, especially who I'm responding to specifically. And I don't know how to tell you guys this in any simpler terms, but in no way, shape or form are words violence. They never have been. They never will be. Unless someone threatens you with violence, which is illegal, it's not violence. Words are never going to be violence. Well, well, Abba, what he says leads to physical harm. Sure, maybe. Maybe you can make that case. A lot of things lead to physical harm in terms of words. Maybe you gossip about somebody. That could lead to physical harm. Maybe you give somebody too much stress when you yell at them. That could lead to physical harm. A lot of words could lead to like induced stress and things like that. But that's not the same as violence. Words have meanings. And when you change that to suit whatever narrative you want, it has real world implications. When you tell people that their opinions are violence, you are inherently justifying a violent reaction. That's why you have goobers like Antifa who think it's perfectly acceptable to show up to places and beat them there. Why? Because their ideas are violent. We're devolving into a weird society where we're saying, oh, if you don't say what I like, that's violence. Yeah. Excuse me? Are you saying I assaulted you? What the f*** are you talking about? What, what is that? What does that even mean? Words are violent. Behaving or involving physical force intended to hurt, damage, or kill someone or something. You know, even if we grant you that what he's saying is hateful, mm -hmm. even if we grant you that what, if we grant it, which I don't, I do not believe it's hateful, but you're entitled to view it however. It's subjective in that sense, okay? If you feel that way, it still doesn't qualify as violence. He was violent towards me. What happened? How did he hit you? No, he said a bunch of things that were terrible. That's not violence. I'm sorry. Okay? Uh, it, and, 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 and he said and, a bunch of things that you deemed terrible.